Well, hello there everybody, YouTube. And what you're seeing right now, this is Zenith Radio. Again. But you're seeing the bottom, which is really messed up. Um, this is the selenium rectifier that I'm going to have to replace. And the insulation is all ripped off of there. I mean, there's it's coming off in whole pieces now it's in such bad shape so I got to take that out <clears throat> and what I'm going to do I'm going to replace that with one of these 100 ohm resistors and one of these diodes let's see yeah they're just general purpose diodes but they're what I'm going to need or use on this it should work out pretty well let's see Oh boy, you guys really can't see much there. Yep, there we go. Bring it back some. Alright, anyhow, that's the resistors there. And here's the, the diodes. And actually, I'm just going to show you a diagram of what we're really doing here. I'm going to replace that selenium rectifier. And I figured I'd do this little diagram here. And if you look at that, it's going to be a series connection. You see where the voltage goes in, and there's a 100 watt resistor. And then that is connected to the cathode of the diode. And the other end of the diode goes to ground. And then the other voltage coming out comes off the other side where, it's, where both are put together. So I figure it was better to go ahead and give you guys a diagram of what's going on. Uh, rather than just uh, not saying anything. But anyhow, so I just wrote this thing up just to give you an idea what's going on. Okay, but this thing is a real mess. I gotta, I really have to take uh, this thing apart. And uh, the best way here was first I'm gonna cut this sucker out of there. And and find the other end. Cut that out. And it actually is pretty bad shape. It's like you can feel it's all corroded and the plates are full of junk. I don't know what's like it's all rusted and got dirt inside of it. I mean it's a mess. It's actually I, I measured it with my handy dandy Beckman meter here. And uh, it's definitely shorted out. So that was one reason why it wasn't working. Figure that much out. Now, unfortunately, this capacitor up here is a melted blob. So I've got to get that out of the way too so I can figure out. You know, I'm going to cut it short and then I have to replace that capacitor with, I'll replace it with a ceramic. Let's see if I can. All right, now got that. And that yellow wire that goes over to the speaker. Now I have inside there two wires that go to the diode. Let's see if I can pull them out of there. But it's really, really hard to get that stuff out of here. It's already lost its <laughs> any insulation it had on it at all. It's I'm trying to get it out of there without breaking the other end so I know where it's going. I may have to cut the other capacitor out below it as well. Come on. Got that one. There's one. Now I gotta get the other side out. And it is right there. Let's see if I can pull it back out without messing up the yellow wire. Let's see here. Come on, you. Come out of there. Oh, yeah, see? See what I mean? It's just coming off in pieces. So, I have to find out where that is going to. 
trying to get a schematic on this thing and as usual you got to pay for some some stuff they say oh it's free or you got to download such and such such application and I said no I'll just do it myself I'll just figure it out myself as I go it's the only way really to do anything now let's see if I can pull that wire out of the way oh, there we go all right now let's see where those are Okay, there's one that's got insulation, the other one doesn't. Well, as it is, I still cannot tell where the other end is going. Shh, kids, what a can of worms. I tell you, this is something else. But anyhow, this is going to take me a while. Uh, stay tuned for other developments. <laughs> uh, continuing saga of the Zenith AM FM radio. Uh, actually, it was made in 1948, I found out. So it's only two years older than me. So it's 68 years old. Um, but actually, the rest of it looks like it's in pretty good shape once I get all these messed up capacitors out of there. So anyhow, that's about it for now. I'm going to go ahead and play with this some more and figure out what I can do with it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Bye.